Hi, I'm Mr. Brucker. I'm the instructor for the Robotics Engineering Technology Program here at AW Beatty Career Center. First, I'll talk about my background and how that led me to, to teach this program. And it'll, give, it'll also give you an idea of what you would do in this room. I started first by getting an electrical engineering degree from MIT, and then I went to the University of Pittsburgh to study bioengineering. Along the way, when I was in the bioengineering program, I worked to help develop a system for balance stability that involved a, a number of different sensors and feedback on what we called the electric banana peel. It was a, a sliding linear platform that we used to, to help detect postural disorders. And that led me into a career at Conair. Uh, the Conair Group uh, currently is headquartered in Cranberry Township. While the state mandated curriculum focuses heavily on electronics, I try to include all the experiences I've acquired over the stops on my journey to becoming a, a teacher, uh, especially the robotic systems that I worked with. And we, we emulate that quite well through our participation in FIRST Robotics. But even in the classroom with individual tasks such as 3D modeling and coding and general system design, we are able to prepare people for a future in robotics and or engineering. From a curriculum standpoint, first year students are going to acquire a foundation in electronics and some of the other related fields, principally through building some circuits, coding uh, on couple of very simple robotic platforms, specifically Loco Robo, and also through the first robotics competition, as previously mentioned. So when students come here, uh, they probably have a certain level of math knowledge, a certain level of science knowledge. We're going to start by making sure that there are no, no holes in that knowledge base, then we're going to build from there. Uh, the first major landmark that people reach in the class is doing some circuit analysis. While this is, again, about electronics directly, it's also about problem solving skills indirectly and system knowledge. So students will learn how to do series circuit analysis, parallel circuit analysis, and then finally put it all together in a combination circuit. Most of this foundational work, including circuit analysis, will be completed during the first semester. Right about the time the second semester starts in January is when the first robotics competition begins for that year and students at this point will have a chance to be part of the engineering design process. The students will have significant exposure to the mechanical, pneumatic, and programming that is not emphasized as much during the, the regular curriculum. Typically the design of, uh, and construction of the robot lasts for about two months, then the competitions uh, occur in March. The, remaining of the, the remainder of the school year for a first year student involves getting more involved in alternating current and understanding what, what AC, how AC differs from DC and how this actually matters in the world, specifically with regards to things like motors and generators and the way electricity and magnetism work together. Second year students are gonna get more involved in solid state electronics and again, they're gonna have the opportunity to expand that into projects. So maybe they're going to design a system that involves an electronic aspect, but also maybe will include 3D modeled parts, uh, design their, their own you know, personal projects. Uh, we try to do as much as possible to balance out the more academic part of the class with the more project-oriented part of the class. And that includes individual creative uh, exploits, but also group collaborations. Uh, some projects come from unexpected sources. A couple years ago, we were able to retrofit the Woolies chicken, the animated chicken down at uh, in the Strip District store to, to get it working again for the first time in probably a decade. Uh, other times, the projects come from within the building. We've had many t cases where we've been able to design something either for the cosmetology department, um, for, for a Skills USA presentation. Sometimes we, we've collaborated with the carpentry students. Some students have been, done some quite in, involved individual projects. 
uh, we have a current student who has finished up making a QR code reader that could be enabled for establishing student arrival and departure from the room, or it could even be expanded school-wide. We have also had students work on developing an LED matrix scoreboard, uh, just a simple 32 by 32 grid, but uh, understanding all the different hardware and software that makes that possible. Going from the physical connections and also including the Arduino code that underlies the system itself. People are going to come to this program with a lot of different goals in mind. For some people it might be a four-year college, either as an engineering student or a mechanical technology type of uh, study. Other people maybe would look at a two-year college, uh, more traditionally called a trade school. Uh, but it really comes down to individual students' interests, what they're number one going to do in the program with the extra time that they do have beyond the standard curriculum and of course where they're headed next in their life. We're also very excited in this room because after years of working towards this goal we finally have a CNC machine, uh, a pretty substantial sized CNC machine to be able to expand our projects to another level and, and really to make them uh, both more aesthetically pleasing and more, more easily assembled. Also here in January of 2021, we are awaiting the installation of a second 3D printer that will expand our capabilities on, on that side as well. It's impossible to describe all the possible things, all the things we already do in this room and all the things we might do in the future, but we are very excited to start to add the CNC skill set into the, the mix of all of our other attributes.